Mr. Miller, is it? <laughs> Americans and their souvenirs. Is this your child? No, I can see the name. Johnny Miller. Hope he doesn't miss it too much. You know, children, they get attached to these little things. They can, they can cry for days when they lose one. You know why? Because these small objects remind them they're loved. But loss is part of growing up, isn't it? Part of growing up is accepting the inevitability of death, the inevitability, Mr. Miller, of death. My father told me that. You would be a hero to your children, too. I hope that gives you comfort. Brother! Amadei, <coughs> hey, John. Shame. You come to our country to murder us, yet we are the terrorists when we try to protect our nation and our people. This is the price you pay. It's nasty, but it doesn't connect Solomon to the nuke. What else do you have, Sergeant? What else do I have? What else do I need? You just saw him murder Miller. Look in the mirror, Sergeant. You and your buddy Demas' fingerprints are all over the store. Are you fucking cop? I mean, whose side are you on? Look, you're in the same room where this video was taken. You're at the bank where they found the nuke. Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. We found the three nuke racks. The torn up map Solomon was on the security monitor with Al Bashir. The building's gone. Your evidence is gone. You got nothing. Yes. All right, when was this? You're sure? OK, thanks. Well, it appears one of Solomon's aliases just hit the grid here in New York. There you go. So I guess your story checks out. Al Bashir was real clear about Solomon being his right-hand man. Was he? When? When we went after him. Campo and me. 